You are listening to another Third Coast Nerds podcast. Vote for sexy robot voice. I'm not even a real thing, but I'm still likely a better choice to run this shit. Oh, we're getting political now, huh? Just remember your vote counts. <laughs> Wait, was, wasn't last week's political? Just, just like, uh, just like uh, Mama Jen says, uh, ride her in; it'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> It won't go off like war games at all. Right. So now if all of our listeners vote for sexy robot voice, she'll have a point zero 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 eight. Yeah, yeah, It'd yeah. It'd be nice. But it might throw someone else off. <laughs> it might throw them off. You never know. Could be that, like, last vote, you know. Right. For, Ro- for Ross Perot's last chance. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> can't, can't finish. Can't finish. Can't, can't finish. Can't finish. <laughs> can't finish. Mm-hmm. Uh, so what's happening? Oh. It's been a week. Yeah. <laughs> I started, I started, uh, started playing start games again. It's about time. Yeah. I finished Arrow, and I'm sad I wasted that time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm halfway through Stranger Things. How's that? I'm enjoying it. Yeah? Yeah, I'm, I'm right before the good part from what people keep telling me. Oh, I, I so you're it. almost at the end? Um, I'm halfway. Okay. I so. hate it when, when you start watching a show... And you're like, oh, kind of on the fence. Like, oh, but you're right before the good part. And it's like <laughs> every single show goes that way. Like, how Dude, long do I have to camp on a show before it gets good? I've always, I've always been a Winona Ryder fan. Of course. And she is like the best crazy ass mother on the planet. <laughs> uh-huh. I will say that. Yeah, I've only seen like part of an episode. Yeah. And uh, I can agree with that. She, she, she picks her roles well, and uh, she's doing very good. Yeah. Very big, like I've said before, Super 8 ET vibe. Mm-hmm. A little bit of Goonies thrown in there. Yeah. Um, Apparently, there, there's I, a lot of good reviews. I the found out something today too. on it, actually. Um, they, uh, they approached 15 studios with this show before they approached Netflix and Whoa. were turned down by 15 studios. That's that's kind of the trend. I see how 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 it's going now. Um, you used to have like somewhat you'd have like effects or um, what was the other one A and E or whatever. Like they yeah. they'd gamble on a show and take a risk, and they succeeded because of it. Yeah. But now you have I, I don't know what this new what this new phase is this new trend is. They're they're just not taking those risks anymore. They're settled into what their camp is like. Back when they were struggling, like they would take a gamble on something because you know they didn't have anything else. Can, can you name any new shows on those channels at this point? Not at all. See, like the only one I can think of that's not on a on a main type channel that I watch is Salem on WGN. Yeah, uh, which is that local Chicago channel that's kind of you know WGN Americas or whatever now. Um, and that that's a that's a good show. I'm glad it made one of those shows. Yeah. Um, but I would almost prefer some of these shows to hit Netflix. And the one thing that I can say about the show that I'm not going to give anything away. I've already kind of categorized it a little bit. The show feels like kind of almost like Donnie Darko a little bit where it's almost a cult classic from the beginning. Yeah. Um, Everything you see in this show, you feel 1983 down to the music, the text on everything, just the, the flow of it. Like, you feel like you're in the early 80s. Down, down to you uh, hitting the table to make sure yeah. your point is made. Yeah, can you feel it? <laughs> so, like, I, I was very, at first it kind of threw me off because I'm not a huge fan of kids. Like, they make noise and they want money and food. <laughs> so, like, I don't, I don't like that. And, and it wow. does center around, you know, a group of children as a set of main characters. Yeah. Um, Did you ever see Super 8, though? Yeah, and it has a very Super 8 feel to it. Yeah, it's kind of what I saw in the trailer. It, it seemed like that was... Uh, um, that was kind of the feel of the whole thing. At this point, I would say it's about 50% kids, 50% the other few storylines that are going on. Um, but it's been getting more into the the, the new storylines, kind of the science behind whatever the hell's going on. Some some answers, you know, but yeah. um, I haven't quite got to those yet. Um, but I would still recommend it because I can tell it's going to be good. It's, it's moving in that direction. Um, and the acting is solid all the way across. So um, I definitely recommend it. So, well, I mean, with with as much um, it's got hype. a lot of buzz. Yeah, with as much with as much hype and as much buzz as it has. And I really boil that down to the the way they made it a cult classic, like the way they they present it. They 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 dotted all their eyes and crossed all their T's to make you feel like you were in the eighties. Yeah, and I don't care about the eighties. The music sucked in the eighties, but you know, like the the closest thing I can relate the music to and the feeling you get is Tron. The way yeah. like, you feel yeah. Tron when you watch it. That's the way it makes you feel with the music on this. 
And you're wearing a Tron shirt. Well, well. <laughs> not necessarily. It's a, it's a Tron themed type shirt. It's, it's, but yeah, like I've had a few it. friends that are kind of all watching it at the same time, and everyone has equated the music and the feel of the show to to like the feel you get when you watch Tron. Because it's almost as much about that music as it is about the visuals for back then. The original then. one or the legacy? The original. Because I get different feelings when I watch Legacy. <laughs> <laughs> the original one. <laughs> where, you know, it was it was a lot of music why discs just flew around and, you know, shit moved around on the screen. Yeah. So, like, there's a lot of, you feel it. So, it's it's pretty good. Nice, nice. Wait, talking about nostalgia, man, like, the you said, like, the music in the 80s sucked. I, get, I sent you a video today. Of corn from 1994, like yeah. their sixth show ever, and uh, what? How does it feel to put it in perspective? Corn came out 22 years ago. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, yeah. They've been around for 22 years. Oh, well, we are getting older. Yeah, it's gonna be on. And it doesn't on, feel like it, man. It, are, does it? are there any classic rock stations in Houston anymore? Because corn might hit it soon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, if you think about it, like the buzz, the when they play good music, like it's classic, for, it's, yeah, classic it's classic music. Classic, like yeah. half of, half of that station is classic. Like the times that I listened to on the way home and stuff was primarily music. Yeah, it's classic music. Yeah, they don't play much of the new stuff, if any. W- what's the time limit for a car to become a classic? Like per like tech, <laughs> like yeah. Department it's, of Transportation it's law. Got to be good too. I though. think it's like twenty years is the yeah. is the drop off. Somewhere around there. Let's so you've up. got like you know. Garcia will reply on our Facebook page with the number he knows exactly. Like a ninety <laughs> a ninety four Honda Civic is considered a classic car, you know. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, if you buy like you, you can buy them on Craigslist now for like two hundred bucks. You can buy like a ninety three Civic, and it I don't think it has. It, it, it's either twenty, 20 or twenty five years. Twenty years it's, if it's between thirty and twenty years old. Yeah, so but you can buy <laughs> like a, a crappy Econo box for cheap, and it doesn't have to pass emissions. Because it's considered a classic vehicle. Well, that's ridiculous. So in certain provinces, so in other places, it's 30 years. So, yeah, here's to getting old, bud. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it looks like uh, 15 in some areas. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> my, my first car I drove in that case was a classic car. Because ah, right. it, well, I mean, it was a year older than me. I got it when I was 16. <laughs> What's the Mitch Hedberg joke? It's like, here's a picture of me when I was younger. Every picture of you is of you when I was younger. <laughs> Here's a picture of me when I'm older. You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the I, I I think we already already talked about this. ABC passed on Marvel's Most Wanted. Yep. But they already took measures to write those two characters out of the show. Yep. So what's happening? We don't know. We hope she's back. <laughs> Actually, I like both of their characters cool. quite a bit. Um, oh, in, in ABC's gutted lineup, how could they not find room for that show? Is it is it maybe Marvel not supporting it or? Um, well, I know there was a lot of corporate BS. Is what stopped Agent Carter from going to Netflix. So mm-hmm. I know they're they've got their phases set out the way they want to do them, and they're kind of going toward that. There's very few shows that are not part of a a phase, and. That show obviously was probably not going to tie into anything, so it was pretty easy to trim it when fiscal year ended. I'm sure. Yeah, but if you've got nothing else, does it does it really matter? I think it would have been a weak show, but I'd have watched it. And yeah. they took two characters that played well together, and you can add a little bit more to it, and it could have been all right. Um, I, think I mean, bring it the was just back. Huh? I think they'll find a way to bring the characters back. I mean, I'm not one for following formulas, but like you know, I think you could you can see a duo sort of led show like Castle can be a success. Yeah. Well, also, I mean, we don't know what's about to happen on on Shield. Um, there's been reports of people being casted for new director roles. Um, so you know, the last kind of season, Shield was was legitimate, not legitimate, back and forth. So they could very easily put in a situation to where they are helped by or need to help Bobby and Hunter and then incorporate them back into the show. Yeah. Cause it seems as if things are going to start splitting a little bit now with inhumans versus, you know, and all that kind of kicked off. So it would not be hard from a writing standpoint, but, uh, <laughs> I don't think, I don't think they're going to end up doing too much for it. Yeah. Really. So with, um, Another thing too, Suicide Squad. 
I've read <laughs> reviews of this. <laughs> and just about every review I've said is uh, g- good for trying. Good for trying. Rotten Tomatoes, 38% as of two days ago. Yeah, and have you seen the petition circling where they're trying to get Rotten Tomatoes taken down? Like, (laughs) diehard fans of Suicide Squad, a movie they haven't seen yet. They're trying to get Rotten Tomatoes taken down, which is just an aggregator for all the other review sites and all the other, like, professional (laughs) critics. Yeah. And they're trying to get this site taken down. They're trying, to, like, they're trying to smear the name before it's come out. And, like Every critic is like, it's kind of a steaming pile of shit. <laughs> I, I had some friends read me some, some <laughs> critic reviews. Yeah. Because that's all you really have right now. Our critic reviews are, are very popular YouTubers or whatever. Yeah. And none of them were good. Did they read like Jaden tweets? or Actually... Jaden got Will Smith this week. Yeah, oh, week. I heard that about was, that. That was well played, son. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> touche. I'd, I'd pull one over on, on the Fresh Prince if I had the opportunity <laughs> to. <laughs> well, I mean, like, d- does he deserve the, d- the Fresh Prince role that he's supposed to be getting pretty soon now? I mean, I don't Jayden, think... No. I can't. I can't imagine it's going to actually come through, though. Honestly, I don't think you should do another Fresh Prince without Uncle Phil. Huh? Yeah. Unless you make it all about the uh, the great effort it took to get him to the grave. <laughs> Although the, the Winslow years of dude, therapy for the Paul Bears, the dude from Die Hard, the, the the black cop, yeah, I could see him being an Uncle Phil. Uh, Are you talking about the guy from, from Family oh. Matters? Yeah. Oh yeah, Carl. Is he, is he still alive? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I've seen him in something recently. That's uh, Reginald Bell Johnson. Oh, just give him that name. <laughs> Uncle Reginald. Uncle, 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 Uncle yeah. Reginald. That dude is still around. Yeah, he'd be a good Uncle Phil. What's he been in lately? Uh, he's 63 years old, and he was just in what appears to be a string of movies that probably went to straight to DVD or channels that we have yet to discover and didn't last long enough for us <laughs> to find. <laughs> um, yeah, so... We should find one of those. I want to watch it now. You oh, know, he was he was in Girl Meets World. Oh. You know the best thing that came out of Fresh Prince of Bel Air. <laughs> What's that? Rashida Jones. <laughs> Rashida Jones, the girl, the the comedian chick. Rashida Jones is the daughter of Quincy Jones from Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Like, oh, the, you're the talking Quincy about like Jones. you're talking about like uh, uh, for not, realsies. Yeah, yeah, I know for real, but like <laughs> no no cameo on the show. I was trying. Oh to no, think, just like, her. I her in general. Her on the show. She's the best thing that came out of that show. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I, I still like that show. Like, if I'm homesick and I could play that show, I probably would. What if after every episode you had to to also watch an episode of Saved by the Bell? Yes. So it alternated. Yes. No, no, no. Hold on. I'm not finished. Uh-huh. College <laughs> years. Yeah. Yeah, I could, yeah, I could get by with that. Yeah. I mean, it, as long as it's not just playing the wedding over and over again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm good. Because I've seen that once. Because, I mean, you know me and, and Saved by the Bell. I loved that show. Yeah. Um, I see. I can see like. But what I don't, if you I had don't to watch w- every episode of Baywatch? Let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> nights. <laughs> oh, there's nights. I, I thought I thought the college years would would cut it off, <laughs> but no, apparently not. I thought that. So you, you say Baywatch? So it reminded me of a meme I saw today. It had a picture of uh, Jason Momoa and Baywatch, huh. and it was like he started as a lifeguard, and then the next picture is him as Atlantis, and he's like. And then he was to, he went to Atlantis, and then it shows the the awesome picture of him like staring down with the uh, the Aquaman costume. He's like, yeah. and then he's the king of Atlantis. <laughs> yeah. It was like, yeah, I saw that. Nice, like that's a, that's actually a pretty uh, pretty cool progression. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, I mean, you uh, you guys had drinks with the dude. What do you think? Oh, the dude's awesome. Oh yeah, I'm a fan. Like I I still need to go uh, do a, a little trip one weekend to his brewery. Once that gets to where he's doing tours and stuff. Uh, Pro or con, he, he him getting a, wrapped up with this whole uh, DC Snyder universe, which may just get rebooted next year. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm happy he got work in general. Yeah. And uh, mm-hmm. looking at what I've seen for that with the trailers, um, he, it, uh, he it fits the role. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I don't think it'll get rebooted outright. It may get a soft relaunch once well, they and, get and Snyder and out of the way. Kind of like what they did with the Marvel Universe. Kind of, like they kind of they kind of revamp things after Favre was out of the picture, yeah. which wasn't necessarily for the best. I ever, I read some info on that today. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, they, they changed gears a bit yeah. after he kind of And then they, they kind of gave it back <laughs> yeah. when they realized they made a mistake. Yeah. Well, so. I mean, he's he's getting two big movies out of this, right? He's had a little bit of a start. He's getting the Aquaman movie that they are doing and then Justice League. So 
Like well, he's getting a, he's getting that the chance to kind of break it bigger than he which already one, has. Which they, one comes they, out first? Uh, Justice League comes out in seventeen. Aquaman eighteen. Until I think it, that's until the right order. Shot, until it's shot and it's actually been edited and it's set for distribution. Nothing is set in stone <laughs> because Justice League could very well flop, and they'll be like, "We're not going to gamble on this anymore." Because if they can't sell a Justice League movie, they're not going to sell an Aquaman movie. Um, no, they're not going to sell an Aquaman dude, movie. There like, are more chicks that are going to go see an Aquaman movie with him as Aquaman than the actors that are playing Batman. Not enough to recoup the gigantic sum they will invest in it. The bad thing is he's he's kind of been quiet for a little bit, and he's never been a a huge name. Um, yeah. His side projects and some of the, the the other stuff he's done has been really good, and then he's everyone that I've read that has worked with him praises how much work he puts into it, and you can tell how much work he puts into what he does. Yeah, um, he's a good-looking dude. He's massive. Mm-hmm. He's got a lot of fans. So <laughs> I think I, like, it very well could propel him. But like you said, the first movie has to be a success for the second movie to happen. Yeah, um, and I'm glad they're going with a group movie first. Uh, because if his role or his part of the storyline is good and the rest of the movie sucks, it gives him a better chance. And I think he's going to do really, really well in the role. And I don't know. I don't know about them gambling on the group movie first because, I mean, Wonder Woman's going to come out. Well, and... they already did the group movie, Batman vs. Superman. <laughs> well, yeah, like, yeah. I mean, they and kinda, that they're... didn't do that great, but they're doing another one. So, Yeah, I think uh, I think with the position DC and Warner Brothers is in, they're going to keep throwing money up against the wall anyway. Yeah, they have to. They're going to keep trying. Yeah. They're Even though they're not making a lot of money, they're making money. Yeah, foreign will bring it in. Foreign will bring it in, and you—you you mean you don't even have to make a billion dollars on these movies to 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 make the money because they're going to realize we can slash our marketing budget by half and still get the same people that watch it. You're not drawing in too many extra people with the amount of money they're spending, and then the cost of these movies isn't as high as we would think it is for just the movie without advertising budgets. These things are usually sitting at about three hundred to four hundred million, and that's with a big cast of three or four people that are making big money. So, China makes up for that. China pays for your movie. Even Batman vs. Superman made $350 million in China. Yeah. That's what saved them, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's, it's the only reason it, it almost floated. Or, you know, they, yeah. they know how to work the books to where it's not a success if they don't want it to be a success. Yeah. There's, there's other money that can be, you know, spent. <laughs> <laughs> but speaking of general mode, did you ever watch The Red Road? Uh, yeah, I did. And, it was good. And then I watched I think the first episode, but I didn't really get to. Um, I mean, the main the reason I started is he was in it, and yeah. it well, really, I mean, that was his production. Like he, it, yeah, it wasn't something story. that I was overly interested in, but I watched yeah. it and I enjoyed it. But primarily because he was in it. Yeah, I watched the first episode and I liked it, and I, I wanted to kind of binge it because I didn't want to start and then not finish. Yeah. So I was like, I'm gonna wait till I can binge it, and I haven't gotten back to it. But <laughs> it was, I think it was only a one, like a it was a, a ten or twelve episode thing. Ten, I think. Ten. Yeah. Okay. I enjoyed it. So, so in other ABC news, um, ABC and Lucasfilm are in talks to try to do a Star Wars live action TV show. I would like that. Uh, we'll we'll circle back to it. <laughs> How do you <laughs> feel about Rogue One? I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. More more so, I, I'm more excited for Rogue One than I was Episode Seven. I will agree with that statement. For some reason, the buzz leading into the new Star Wars movie wasn't huge. After I watched it, I had to watch it a second or third time to like, okay, I see what they did here. Um, it and was, a lot it of that was, was immediately everything. Apparent, everything know? was new. You know, it was a lot to pick up on mm-hmm. if you wanted to really pay attention to everything. Um, but after I, I, I watched it and kind of watched some videos and kind of saw why certain things were done certain ways, and I was like, ah, it, it did a good job. But this one is a little flashier. And I think we'll be a little more action. And you've already done through the slow character development, so it should be able to move a storyline forward faster. Yeah. So, I mean, it has those things going for it. And these are these are marathons. Mm-hmm. You know, like, they just started running. <laughs> They're about to hit their good spot soon. Next, yeah. next movie or two, one of those is going to be massively good. The Star Wars universe goes off like the, the freaking Marvel universe. You <laughs> yeah. have like, a, like two movies a year. Oh, yeah, and, and, and it is the Marvel universe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <it's that> too. <laughs> just, waiting for, just waiting for the crossover with Guardians of the so Galaxy. So did you really not think that that was going to happen knowing what Marvel's doing everywhere else? And the fact that, like we said on the last podcast, how long has it been since we had a Star Trek? Yeah. They can yeah. fill that void, and it's going to be different. It's going to be brand new because they've never done that before. Any Star Trek you do right now, you're rebooting that Star Trek. 
you have Shatner. <laughs> you have you have a lot of people you're trying to live up to that that people that are in the movies are still watching their stuff and like acting as them a little bit. You know, mm-hmm. you can see Shatner in today's yeah, Chris delivery. Pine. Luckily, like not, his, good job luckily not too much of him. Yeah, though. I mean, just enough, <laughs> just yeah. enough to be like respect. But I'm my own guy. You know? yeah. I'm, just, like, I'm just waiting for the one movie that the accent happens that made him talk the way he did. <laughs> like that, I think that'd be great. Is like they do a movie and like he gets hurt, and then the next movie he's talking a little bit more differently. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, if you rewind the tape, everyone else is like, I don't think he's really efficient as a captain right now <laughs> because it's taking him a little long to get orders to us. You know what I mean? <laughs> we can we can rewind the tape. I want to say sometime last year. I remember going on a a slight discussion about how I felt the cast members of the current Star Trek movie would be one of the few casts that I could see on TV, Um, that they would work. The chemistry between them was good enough for them to have a TV series. It was probably sometime late last year, but they're two big names for that to happen. But if they were able to get a TV show with the current cast that's on the movies, it's great. It'd be perfect. Yeah, we should but just pull up. The that's a lot of play. money. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't uh, be able to afford to do it for long. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, even even throwing something on Netflix that's two seasons at ten episodes each, and that's what I want. Like, God, <laughs> for for something like this, and it doesn't even have to be because it's like graphic or they swear or anything like that. Just because I don't, I don't feel ABC is going to throw weight behind it to make it that level of production. Well, and and are we going to watch it on ABC dot com? Or on the channel. Well, no, yeah, was, yeah, that. It was CBS, <laughs> I thought. Huh? The new well, Star it doesn't matter. CBS. They're all going to start going towards that, towards that yeah. metal or model. Yeah. Game of Thrones is like, yeah, pay $10 a month, essentially, to get HBO to watch this one show every year. Yeah. Okay, it's Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. Done. I'll pay $10 a month not to have cable. Who, yeah. who wants to pay $10 a month for mm-hmm. Star Trek or maybe Star Wars? You, you'd get probably more for Star Wars at this point. Um, but it kind of just seems like it's an illegitimate show when there are options that are new with Hulu, Amazon, Netflix, all these other things that are popping up video wise that you could probably do better just joining one of them than trying to launch your own video on demand service. Yeah. Your own video on demand service and also try to basically shackle yourself to the limitations of these dying networks because these are the last... These are the last kicks, you know? I spend way more time on YouTube now than I did a year ago. Like, exponentially more time. I don't even watch, like, things like that are sort of... I wouldn't even call them culturally irrelevant, but things that are things that should be things. I wait for the internet to dissect them for me and tell me what I should watch. Like, what? Saturday Night Live. Hmm. I'll wait for the internet to tell me what's going to be funny on it. Because I'm not going to I'm not going to sit through an hour and a half of YouTube pain. YouTube is great for highlights. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm not going to sit through an hour and a half of pain to get five minutes of good. Yeah, and that's yeah. the you great know? thing about about YouTube with especially Saturday Night Live is because I just don't watch it for a year and then I watch one minute and a half video <laughs> and you saw and all I the got funny. everything that was I good see the last twelve. That months. was good about it. You I'm know? I'm looking forward to the Olympics on, on YouTube this year. Are I they think- streaming it? I, I, I'm looking forward to after the Olympics when everyone gets gonorrhea, syphilis, everything from <laughs> oh, the infested water. There it goes. They you, get you see where Team USA is shacked up, right? No, no, I didn't see you. Um, Team USA essentially has that and, and whoever else will be on it. It's a 400-person cruise ship. They're getting a port that's away from all the, the, the travel ports, and it's locked down like it's a U.S. embassy. There will be over huh. 200 armed guards and a fence around it. Gosh. And they will be going from there to the games and back. They're not drinking. Like, they're, they're being legit about it. They're not, they're not playing games. I mean, James Harden didn't play. LeBron, I don't know if he's on the team. I don't think he is. A number of the big guys came out and said they're not doing it because of the location. Which could be a cop-out. Some people don't want to play. I wish a couple of them would have, but yeah. we have a really good team. And I'm just, I'm right just wondering, because like, I know that we, were, we applied to be the – the Olympics yeah. of, I don't know, like ten years from now or whatever, right? It's not. It's um, such a corrupt and, system. It's it's so. Well, we had, you had to put like plans in and be like, this is what we're gonna do. We can guarantee this much, and like that was a big thing. Uh, what was it? Two years ago is when the the last winter because they do a two year offset, right? Yes, it's it's winter four Olympics years. Is two years. Yeah, yeah. well, so yeah, winter Olympics two was years. two years ago, and that was in um, uh, was it London? Sure. I don't know, but I remember they had like so many improvements they were doing, and like you would see news articles about. Like tracking the stuff that they had to do. What the hell happened with Rio? Like, 
did they Rio not was have... already set up for it. Well, Rio I mean, was already at... established enough as a, as a tourist location to support what they need. But when still, they were look... setting it up for Houston, Lake Houston and Lake Conroe is where all the water sports would be. <laughs> they would that was part of the problem. That's why you have an HOV lane going all the way out to Conroe now, is so they can block it off and they can take Olympic people down there. That's why Rice University is connected to NRG Stadium all the way to U of H downtown to the Dynamo Stadium and to main UH campus so that every one of those track and field locations and every one of those can be supported by a light rail. And that's why there's six to ten hotels going up downtown right now. By GRB? Around, all around right. that area. You have three just by GRB. Is, yeah, we get the Super Bowl in January, and those have to be completed for us to fulfill what's necessary to get our name on the Olympic bid system. Oh, wow. All the bullshit we're dealing with in Houston, construction-wise, is because of one of those two things. Well, because we already we already have the Super we Bowl. We have the right? Super Bowl, but like they, they don't the like building they they're building it. across the street for me is supposed to be ready at the end of this year, so it can start bringing people in for the Super Bowl. Hmm. Like, and there's a lot of them opening. You've you've seen driving by the Dynamo area, yeah. like George R. Brown. That's ridiculous. So the fact that they can do that without having to do everything we just did, or they should have to clean their water then. Like, they didn't have to build a bunch of shit. Like, fix your... Well, I mean, the reason why the conditions are that way is because there's someone or a group of someones that are extremely rich right now because they took all that money that was supposed to be invested and go, let's go somewhere else right now. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, that, there's that Australian kid that created that little device that can, like, clean up an oil spill in a week. <laughs> like, invest in his Kickstarter right. and have that shit to clean. It's up a keychain. Everyone's got <laughs> one. But, but you know it's corrupt as shit when they like people have like taken measures of the water and they're like, there's a lot of different stuff in here. Yeah. Um that's not suitable for humans or any other animal to be in. And the response from the Olympic the Olympic Committee is just like, just close your mouth when you swim. Just don't swallow the water. Are they supposed to be swimming in that stuff? Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. Wow. yeah. They've been told that they, the swimmers have been told to to basically change their form and not swim with your mouth open. Yeah. Like they've been training their entire lives to swim with the whole <laughs> like you know mouth open yeah, yeah. except like yeah. See, that's not cool. I I would I would protest if I were a swimmer. Yeah, I thought I thought um, I read that uh, Australia flew their athletes home. Oh really? Yeah, when they arrived like a couple weeks ago. Oh, wow. They saw the conditions of the dorms and everything else, and they just, like, I, I don't know if it was all of them or some of them, but I thought they flew some of them back home. And see, who's, who's paying for Team USA to stay on this luxury you know? cruise liner? Hmm. I would imagine the NBA is, is throwing some money at it. <laughs> yeah. You know, they may be part of the players' union agreement, but... So my, your my, my your could, roster it could be some of the people that are on that boat are just like no 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 y'all can come stay here we we're gonna bring this anyways. Well, your, I know the, your your roster for the team that's gonna win the gold is uh, Jimmy Butler, Kevin Durant, DeAndre Jordan, um, Kyle Lowry, Harrison Barnes, Demar Derozan. Demar Derozan. Derozan. Uh, He's actually had the most highlights if you go to YouTube. He yeah. had a, a sick dunk Friday in in Houston. A sick dunk. It was with like two seconds left in the game. And Kyle Lowry gave him this little alley oop and he he put it down. It was good. Kyrie Irving, Clay Thompson, DeMarcus Cousins, Paul George, Draymond Green, and Carmelo Anthony. See, they oh, they're going to win. They could afford that. Like, all well, of them. Well, it's like, <laughs> what, what's, what's the record for, like, men's, uh, U.S. men's basketball? Uh, the Dream Team. No, any, I mean, any, like, any record is the Dream Team. No, I don't mean, like, the record. I mean, like, what's what's their, like, percentage? Cause I, I thought we, like, we showed up one year expecting to win and got destroyed. 2004. 2004. I think we got silver or bronze. That's but since the 19, I think since 92, that's been the only time we didn't get the gold, if I remember correctly. I don't know. I'm going to look it up. You're, you're yeah. talking amongst yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> On lunch, we were watching some, um, like, the, the reruns from the last years, or not last years, but yeah. the last Olympics. And uh, Ed's obviously, you know, he's cheering for um, his people. Oh, yeah? Which one? Um, the Asian. Okay. And he's like, no, no, they're going to win. Look at him. Look at him. And as the the winner's finishing, um, he's like, see, the guy's in second. And then he's like, oh, he just got lapped. <laughs> <laughs> so, it was hilarious. So <laughs> since 92, um, gold medals, 92, 96, 2000, 2008, and 2012, bronze in 2004. I was right. <laughs> Who won the, the gold in the, in the 2004? Uh, I don't know. I'm clicking this link. Figure it out. All right. I remember that because uh, everyone was very upset that we did not get the gold because we should have got the gold. Yeah. 
Yeah, very much so. But I mean, they beat us. They beat us. We didn't. We didn't play well. We actually got beat. But there were a number of stacked teams that had a lot of NBA players on it. So. Argentina, Argentina oh. gold. Yeah, Luis Silver Scola, Italy. Uh, Vasella Spanulis. Yeah. A brick a brick a brick a brick too. We had we had a couple of them on our on our Rockets team back then. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, Ginobili played on that team. Huh. It's a yeah, they were a good team. Another name I know. But yeah, I mean, I I expect all of those games to be on YouTube the day the next day. So yeah. like, I mean, they're all on ABC or whatever NBC, whatever channel it is. But I don't DVR anymore because I got sonar, and I don't know how easy that would be to auto yeah. auto download. So well, what, back, I was going to YouTube. Back to the whole cable thing. Like, I I agree that those are basically shot in the dark for them to even try the streaming yeah. service because like even like the, so they the Expanse, yeah. awesome series. I don't have cable. I wanted to support it because I wanted a season two just from yeah. what I heard about it and like saw like one episode. So then I went and bought it on, I think, Google Play. Right. So you, like and it's cheap. I think the entire season was like eight ninety nine. Yeah. So I paid eight ninety nine for a season. So even if you did it legitimately, it's still cheaper than cable, especially if you do the binge watching route or even if you pay it like the, the oh, prepay yeah. and then it comes you get one per month because you have Google Play and then YouTube. You can buy the episodes well, on there now. Netflix. Well, I'm saying you have Netflix, but say you run out of Netflix, right? You're yeah. waiting on Daredevil Season 2 to come out, or Season 3, I guess, three. now, right? Yeah. Or Jessica Jones Season 2. So you're waiting, and you're like, oh, well, this other show, but I don't I don't want to get cable to watch that. Oh, wait, I can go to YouTube and buy it like yeah. for 10 bucks, and I get Have you all played 20. with YouTube Red or YouTube Music? I have it. No, I haven't tried it. It's um, It comes with my Google Play, because I do the the eight ninety nine for Google Play, so I have unlimited music with no commercials whatsoever, and then... My YouTube is free with that, so you get YouTube Red with your Google Play subscription. Do you it's use all Google? Any of that? Uh, daily. So with the, with the new car, it has Android Auto. Mm-hmm. So I just hit a button, say what band I want to listen to, and it just plays. And I never have to hear a commercial, unlike the radio, even satellite radio that's that's in the car. Like I always hear stupid people, yeah. so I'm just like button, play Little Dicky or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. So it, I, I think it's great for eight ninety nine. It's the best thing you can have because you have it on demand. You can download playlists, full albums, whatever. And then when I could do like when me and Chad do the YouTube nights, you know, you know, I'm drinking, he's not. And we're just putting shit on YouTube (laughs) on the Chromecast for (laughs) what, like six hours straight. Not a single commercial that's coming from my phone. And if I start the queue, that goes for most of the stuff that you're throwing up too, because as long as I have one every three, there's no commercials whatsoever. So, it like you watch a lot more YouTube without commercials. Surprisingly, hmm. that's what made, like I used to be like, eh, YouTube. Like I watch it, but then I, I don't hate know if it. I'm willing to pay nine dollars a month not to have YouTube commercial. I don't. It's I don't think. Uh, I, hate I don't think anything that we watched had enough views to to have uh, ads tagged onto the front. Yeah. See, I do. I do it's a lot of music. Now. It's all like. It's, oh, it's random. Okay. It, the the the. The, oh, it's not random. Well, you hear the same commercial all day long. No, I'm saying the, where the when right now the it's war games or war room or when the commercial plays is random. Like it doesn't it doesn't necessarily go by the movie. If it's a sponsored movie, then they get a specific commercial. Yeah. And then if it's not, it's like every so many minutes of played, you get a commercial. So if you watch, it's not every so many minutes. If you re, if you start the same video over at like three seconds every time, it doesn't register it more than once. Well, <laughs> no, I'm saying is if you watch one of the longer videos. The yeah. next five things that are a minute all and a half long, all yeah. commercials. But then if you do like a bunch of small ones, you can do four at a time without commercials. Yeah. So they have some kind of algorithm that decides, and I really hate commercials, like with a passion. Mm-hmm. So eight ninety nine is worth it. See, I I, mm. I just wish I would have kept it at the six ninety nine when I was betaing it, because it, that was grandfathered. Yeah. So I'd be getting YouTube Red and unlimited music for that, right? Yeah, the music, I mean, I have such a large library, it's difficult to want to... I like that it's a new album comes out. I can immediately listen to it. And then say, for instance, there's a licensing issue. So Tool, not on Google. But they give me unlimited storage to upload my own music, and then I can stream it from any device ever. So I put my... The I tool can already do that part of it. Yeah, well, we, until, there's already until been your internet goes down, like that. you want to do it from your LTE network. But the, there's already been services like that that have come and gone. Yeah. That I mean, well, Google's, Google's name Google's behind not it, going so. anywhere. <laughs> like, yeah, but Google abandons concepts just as much as anyone else. Yeah, sure. but it's it's already on the platform that's that that supplies their Chrome OS applications and and stuff. It supplies the OS for the. Android. It's not going to go anywhere, but it's, it may, it's not it going may anywhere. Not like, 
Yeah, I mean, like it it's can, the core it can, part of their platform. It can decay and die off. I mean, anybody remember Google Wave? Yes, I loved that. Remember thing. how that was that guy that was the most fucking horrible software ever? Oh, I loved Google. You know what I missed though? Google Reader. Google yeah, Reader. Yeah, I missed that. The homepage, Google homepage. Mm-hmm. Love that. And they're like, yeah, we don't want to do it anymore. It makes me sad. Yeah. Yeah, Google Play's not going anywhere. I have to use Feedly now. Like it, I, can, I can guarantee you that much. It's it's the, the right now. Microtransactions are winning everything, so Google Play will be around until the next big thing. Yeah. And Google's going to create the next big song. thing, and you're going to be able to transfer to it at the same cost because you were a supporter. That's a bold statement saying Google's going to create the next big thing. No, well, they're Google's going to buy, buy the next big the thing. Next big yeah. thing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, they, they, they may buy the next big thing, but I don't think they're creating much of anything these days. Oh no, mm, yeah. Well, well, no, they, they still have their labs and stuff. They buy something, and they're like, hey, screw this up, and we'll cancel it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I see them you know, taking other tech more than innovating these yeah. days. I agree with that. We're like, oh, well, that looks like a good acquisition. <laughs> it's a smart acquisition. Well, I mean, billions is nothing for that company. So they can do whatever they want. Yeah. What I found startling was uh, targeted ads on my phone based upon conversations that I was having with friends in a group. Chat? Not like live. Yeah, like live face-to-face conversations. And I would open up, like, I would just start browsing the web, like, minutes later, and all of a sudden, like, there's an ad for the exact shit we were talking about. Really? Yeah. Do you have that OK Google thing turned on? No. Me neither. I love OK Google. But I don't think most of my conversations that are made out loud, they can advertise to. Yeah, right? <laughs> but all the different things we were talking about, like, you know, we were talking about, like, I think we were talking about, like, old uh, old trucks or something like that, like like mid-50s Chevys or something like that. And all of a sudden it was, like, search for vintage vehicles, and it had a picture of the truck. I'm like, what the shit is happening Let's right now? Let's see if I got some uh, vintage vehicle ads coming up. Hmm. I, I, I've heard this from other people. Um, but I, it hasn't applied to me yet. Yeah, it was weird. Oh, what? Hey, I wonder if we can make it happen this way. We just walk around talking about Third Coast Nerds everywhere. <laughs> and all of a sudden, it's like, what's this Third Coast Nerds thing on my phone? I think I'm going to check this out. <laughs> well, or, we can, <laughs> yes. or we can just see if it, like, it'll catch like like high frequencies. And then we just like play the high frequencies where most people can't hear it at a mall. That way everyone <laughs> stand, stand in the crowd just going, Third Coast Nerds! <laughs> Third Coast Nerds! That way, that whole group, yeah. Yeah. I think it would be easier to record something and just play it. I would rather scream in public. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll record it and play it back <laughs> later. <laughs> when, when your voice is no longer existent, we'll just walk around the boom box. <laughs> like, say anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I think that's also part of your settings, though, because like, I've never ran into that problem, but I'm also very particular about my Google settings, and I check them every time a new policy is emailed. So, <laughs> like, they're like, we made changes. I'm like, cool. I'm going to go find out these new settings reorganized. And, okay, no, I don't want you to do this. No, you can't have this data. Thank you. Have a nice day. So, I think it's also, you know, read it. They don't use a lot of fine print. They're pretty blatant. Of, We're going to use this to make this better and sell you stuff. True. So, unclick that if you don't want that. It's not going to happen to you. From my experience. So, basically, like, the entire um, installation process for Windows 10. Like, no, I don't want you tracking this. I don't care what it's for. No, I don't want you tracking this. I don't care what it's for. I was doing a lot of upgrades and, and got really good at doing the the tab over, tab over, tab over, tab over, and just turning everything off. Yeah. Like, it's like nothing. You want to know the sad thing? Is I bet the dude that wrote that had a, like, deselect all button there, and they're like, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's a programmer. You yeah. know? Like, <laughs> like what well, convenience. No. Sir, you, that, no. you do not meet expectations for a Microsoft employee. <laughs> <laughs> but but I redesigned the kernel by myself. No, sir. No select all or deselect all options. <laughs> but but we're Marvel. Why would any or not Ma- Ma- Marvel? Hey, look at that. Ooh. Cross over evil empire. So so who's gonna own a who first? Microsoft or Marvel? <laughs> Disney will own them both. This is true. <laughs> <laughs> that episode of South Park with uh, with Mickey Mouse comes to mind. Which one? Yeah. The one where it was like the Jonas brothers and they were trying to like <laughs> the period ring things and he was like, Well we have to sell, ha ha. <laughs> That's one of the few I've seen in the last ten years. Yeah. I think you're the one that told me to watch that one. It's it's all been good. It's been pretty good here in the last few years. So, <laughs> completely so. lost steam. 
I love it. Oh, Steam. You I've said got Steam, Steam installed. Yeah, I'm actually looking at it because I logged in to see if I had to take over a game, and there's this uh, uh, this this advertisement which I said I hated earlier, but this one I kind of like because it's for Vive. Have you have you played with Vive yet? The no. virtual reality. No. So we need to go to Tony's house because uh, okay. you can be a uh, a Jedi and you got lightsabers and you're like the little training thing, or um, you have uh, this. It's like tower defense. Except you're an archer and you actually have to like grab the bow and shoot it and you have to like catch it on fire if you need to shoot the tar pit and all this. So it's like it really immerses you. So I want to get one and I already have sign off from like everyone. They're like, I'll go in on half if you got the room for it. <laughs> <laughs> so but, you know, it's it's the the next gaming like I, I if I have kids. They're lucky. I'm not jumping on that bandwagon yet because it's it's I don't know which one to choose. Divix or DVD. And Oculus Rift is dead almost. Yeah, and that that was they were the leader a year ago. So well, that's the thing is they <laughs> they they didn't progress. Vive is already they're a full blown production model, right? So and they have backing of Steam, they have backing of Microsoft. Um, so I mean, they're I don't think it's going to be the only one out, but in its current state, it's good enough. It's like I mean, in ten years, if it what's the current price? Um, that's a good question. Let's find out. Oh. So uh an article was posted they were they were interviewing um Will Smith and they asked him when that Fresh Prince reboot was going to happen he said probably never probably about the time that when hell freezes over. Yeah. Yeah. I think they should put him in a fat suit and make him Uncle Phil. <laughs> <laughs> S- 799. Yeah, that won't be mainstream for quite some time. Mm-hmm. Till they can get that cost down to the under 500 to- like it, it'll be I don't know that's cheaper than a lot of phones out there right now. Yeah, but a phone people see as a necessity. Virtual reality gaming is going to have to provide, A, enough people to do it online and to play new content coming in for it to replace a PlayStation or an Xbox. Mm. Otherwise, you're looking at 700 for that plus another 500 for... Yeah, because currently it's, I think it's pretty much single player. Because games, yeah. games haven't really been about the game itself in a long time. Games are all about the experience you have with everyone else, yeah. your your friends, your no, community. See, that's that's not necessarily true. I've played 2,500 hours the majority, by myself. By myself. No, uh, most of the but people, the majority of gaming happening right now is all well, online. No, that's, that's the ones that you hear about. Like The majority of the gamers that I know, that I work with, and, and you know half of them, they are about the first player experience. Like they have kids and stuff. That's how they zone out. They don't want to play with anyone. Well, I'll just say they, one, they one play game like Witcher name. or something like that, where it's just them. One game like, name, but to you. sell, Skyrim? but but to Skyrim. sell, yeah, but to sell a an entire platform. That's what I'm talking about. It takes a it takes a huge amount of casual gamers Zelda to sell. Yeah, Zelda and Skyrim both can sell a platform. Yeah, if they put the new, because they <laughs> have so the new single player, they have the new Skyrim coming out, and this thing's being being compatible with a lot of the games that are popping out on Steam. So, say the next uh, Skyrim, which is uh, like Fair and Fall or whatever, it's coming out next year, the year after. If they make it to where you can play a portion, like ten percent of the game with this, I guarantee you they're going to sell out of whatever's in stock, because the that because it's such well, a I big mean, thing. Hopefully, they don't have many in stock. That yeah, that, that, <laughs> exactly. Like they may sell out of stock, but if they gambled, it's, a, it's a relatively niche market being that price. Yeah, and if and they not. gambled on like PS4 numbers, then they're fucking retarded. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I don't think they're gambling on on that kind of number. But I mean, like Kickstarter targets, maybe. I see more people buying the the Samsung version of stuff because they can also use it as a phone and just slide it in. And well, all like that. The, yeah. the new the new Note has the the thing yeah. where you can just pop it in, right? But I mean, you have to think the the Vive is a HTC. So okay. I mean, they're a huge competitor of Samsung. So I mean, and, they have money Samsung behind them too. Is much bigger. Samsung uses HTC to to like build some of their chips and stuff yeah. too. So I mean, they're we'll not see. hurting for money. I think they can, I, I they can ride this being, for five years. I don't see it being mainstream for at least that long, if not longer. That's what I'm saying. Is that they can ride this for at least five years, even with with well, the sales are actually on it right now are pretty good. But um, you know, I, it's fun enough for me to have as a single player game. It's like in ten years, it'll still be worth it, just like the Retro Pie. Yeah, the price difference is much bigger. I mean, how many people still well, have... the Retro Pie is, is DIY? Like you can't even compare <laughs> that. And it's to, under a hundred dollars. Yeah. Well, okay. So the people that go buy the like the expensive resale shop. NES is for 250 bucks because they've been remastered or whatever like that. It's the same. 
I'd like you to do some research and see how many people have done that and mm. multiply it by three. And we'll see if that, that sales number matches. Yeah. Are you, talking about, are you like, talking about like the all-in-one consoles that you can get for 60 bucks? No, he's Walmart? talking about someone no. goes and actually buys an original Atari $2,600 Yeah, the, like the original $300. ones that you'll see on, on eBay for an insane amount, right? It's the same market that buys retire, like old arcade games. It's yeah. the same thing. Yeah. But it's not a huge market. That's it's a very I, targeted niche market. Yeah, this is, this is I think, going to be able to be bigger than that. I would hope so. <laughs> like I wouldn't design and, and try to implement. No, I'm talking that's about. I'm be. talking about now, not in four years or five years. It needs to find a a, a, a good application, a reason. I mean, you're, you're talking about like, something. dude, America's fat. People yeah. aren't going to want to have to bend over every time they need to do something. They even something that though. has even <laughs> even something that has great utility, like a 3D printer, people haven't bought into on a major scale yet. Now I yeah, can see a good one. Those things are. I could see expensive. this actually going the route of health equipment. People spend that much money, if not more, easily on any to- type of, of weight bench machine, treadmill, all that. So if you had a console where you could get in there and until your arm hits a certain point, it doesn't hit green, almost like a, a a dance dance revolution kind of what you have to do. It could it could easily become your personal trainer. Oh, I still think that's also a niche market, but it's another application for it that very well could be successful at the price point. Well, they did that with the Connect. Yeah, like the Connect has a lot of programs for that, a lot of games with that. Well, so there's the, the the Wii had the the little scale thing, and if you stood on it and you were over a certain much, you'd be like, "Whoa, you need to play this more." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like the Wii Fit. Yeah, the balance board. I remember I did I had to drive off of. Uh, 290 somewhere to buy one of those out of the back of a car because they were sold out everywhere <laughs> and Dane needed it for someone's present. So he's like, hey, you're near this area. I was like, okay. You want to meet someone at a car dealership parking lot? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Come like, on. Let's some do this. shady deal with a, a wee fit. It's like, you got the stuff? Yeah. Yeah, I got the stuff. I've got I've gotten that call. <laughs> I've gotten that call from Kenneth before where it's been like <laughs> It's been like 11 o'clock at night, and I just get this random call, and he's like, hey, you got pants on? Because, <laughs> by the way, if I'm at home, I ain't got pants on. That's how it works. So he calls me, he's like, hey, you got pants on? I'm like, nah. He goes, well, you, you should put pants on. I'm like, okay. Yeah, meet me out front in five minutes. Okay. So I meet him, I meet him out front. <laughs> me being me and a goofy sense of humor, and considering we haven't really made a late night mission since like, we were like in high school, I come out with a ski mask, I got a tire iron, I'm ready for action. Jump in the car and like, well, so what's the deal? Who we shanking? And he's like, I mean, I gotta buy tires. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd take someone with me for that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. D- yeah. Eleven o'clock at night. Yeah, eleven o'clock tires. at night. Want, someone that wants to want you to meet them in a Walmart parking lot to buy to sell you tires. <laughs> Where? Which Walmart was this? Uh, it was one two forty nine, I think. Or no, no, it was one twenty and twenty. Twenty nine twenty and uh, okay, I mean, Yeah, I mean if, if it's pretty if, close to Magnolia. If it was I, the I one someone with me. <laughs> if, it, if it was the one on West Road, I would have just been like, No. <laughs> wait <laughs> wait. Wait till morning. Yeah. Wait till daylight and wait till they don't want to meet at the Walmart on West Road. <laughs> <laughs> Do I remember because I worked near there well, I guess I worked near there now, but uh when yeah. I worked night, I worked near there, and I was like, "I'll just go over there and get like the snacks for the week, you know, throw them in the drawer." I went there like once, and I was like, "Not cool, nope." So, like, well, like, like there's I... a reason we went to Kroger when we lived in Greensboro. Well, in high school, we used to go there at like two in the morning because yeah, they it was had empty then. Yeah, the security guard was like the best dude to fuck with. Oh, and he'd he'd follow you around too, so you were safe. Yeah, he'd show us like all Until the clips. You weren't. He'd show us all the clips of people doing dumb stuff at Walmart. <laughs> nice. The guy was awesome. No, I, I think like I was there for maybe fifteen minutes because I just wanted like some Pringles and you know working a twelve hour shift, you're young, you, you want some you junk want Pringles, food, yeah. you know. Yeah. And and I, I I had more offers for drugs than ever, <laughs> like inside the Walmart. And I bet your windshield was really clean too, huh? <laughs> I hope not. I don't even remember. Oh. Yeah, but whatever happened to that dude, man, the the spaceship broken need parts. <laughs> it's the best guy. It's the best guy. Ever in history of time. Ever in history of ever. Ever in the history of ever. Yeah. Wow. I'm I'm making it Forever ever? Forever ever? Ever ever? ever. Wow, so I think we're done. I think you just finished <laughs> it with forever, ever. I think we're ever. done early because yeah. it's summer. There's not, there's not a damn thing happening. We won't have anything to talk about until we uh, we talk about how horrible Suicide Squad was next week. Y'all could finish Preacher. 
I haven't started it. I haven't started it either. Stranger Things. I haven't. Dark True. Matter and Killjoys are both in episode five or six. There's, there's Mr. Robot just about. started. Yeah, I did. That's and a lot of TV. I'm, and I do need some TV to watch in the home gym. So that's, I think that's a good call. I think it's a valid call, man. Yeah. With, we and should, I'm, uh, I've been good with Dark Matter. It's been pretty fun this year. We yeah. should create a shared list of uh, TV shows. If only there was a... A notebook application <laughs> we should that create. we could all write in the same yes. same notebook. <laughs> yes, we should we should create this. Maybe maybe create a forum. You know, mm-hmm. go the old school way. Yeah. <laughs> Which I don't think I've updated since episode fifty two. Maybe because <laughs> that's how I used to keep track of how what intros we've done. And now that we're sixty episodes into this thing, we got to You got to use it for hashtags. Got to use it for hashtags. Hashtags are the new. Whatever was cool. We, I, I, I am out of I am out of intros. This intro was created specifically for this show, so I got to get back to the drawing board and come up with some creative intros. I I think mm-hmm. she should say forever, ever, forever, forever ever, ever, <laughs> forever, ever. <laughs> so maybe uh maybe this weekend I'll get drunk and just start sending you messages. Um, basically I'm just gonna record your your whatever we do. <laughs> oh, that's a bad idea. I think last it might time have some they, good content. Last time they took pictures and deleted them after it was sent to me. So, <laughs> 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 like, there's movies that are made around these events. So, all right. Well, I think you should make the noise go louder than us. Yeah, let's go quieter. <laughs> this, is such, this is such a sad ending. The <laughs> noises. Like, we're just we're just ready to go. We're just ready to go. All right. Good night, guys.